HTTP interceptors are one of the best ways for you to level up the way you interact with data and backends in Angular. Hi, my name is Stephen Fluin, and today on Demos with Angular, we're going to be making some requests to the internet via HTTP and the HTTP client in Angular, and then leveling up those requests with HTTP interceptors. All right, today, as always, we are going to be starting with a brand new Angular project generated by the CLI, so this should look very familiar. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be setting up our own token interceptor. And so the goal is to take any HTTP request that our application makes and add on a additional query parameter to that request so that we can add in, for example, a token that authenticates us to some sort of backend. And so in order to get this started, let's actually just start off with a simple HTTP request. And so I'm going to go ahead into our app component here, and I'm going to blow away all of the tutorial content. And we will just start off making a very, very simple request. So in our app component, let's go ahead and using the constructor to create an HTTP client handle. And now let's go ahead back to our app module and let's import HTTP client module. And we'll probably need to import that from the common library. And that is an HTTP folder within the common library, perfect. All right, so we got our application, we got our HTTP interceptor, and we need to make sure we import that. And now what we can do is we can maybe make a results object, and then let's go ahead and set this results object. So I'm gonna just use the GitHub API because that's what I use uh, to demonstrate any sort of HTTP request. So let's just say const path equals, and then let's paste in the GitHub API, which I think I have here somewhere. All right, the path is gonna be this. So this is just a GitHub API making a search for any repository with the name Angular in it. So this is just a normal HTTP request. Uh, you can see it's got a single query parameter already in it, and we'll see what Angular does with that when we start adding in the interceptor. So now I'm going to say uh, this dot results equals HTTP dot get, and I'll just path it's in my path. So we've now defined the HTTP request, but we actually need to use it. So let's go ahead into our component and let's say results pipe async so that we automatically unroll the observable. And let's just render out the JSON completely raw here. So when we look at our application, we can see we're making this request to the backend successfully, and we can see all of the data that is coming back is being rendered to the screen. You can see the same data here in the preview, and you can actually take a little bit more of a semantic look at it. But that HTTP request is working perfectly. So now I actually want to add an interceptor that's going to add on a token. So this is not going to be the real token that you use for GitHub or API, but I just want to show you what it looks and feels like to do this. And so what we're going to see is if you take a look at the uh, list of options when you run ng-generate, we actually have an interceptor option already. So let's go ahead and use that. So let's ng-generate an interceptor. If you spell interceptor right, it works best. And now let's go ahead and give it a name. So let's say, let's call this our token interceptor. So just running that simple command has actually created an interceptor. And if we take a look in the file system, you're gonna find here is our new token interceptor. So this intercept method is the really important part because that's where it gives you the incoming request as well as the uh, next option so you can hand it off to the next handler. So the important thing to know about these HTTP requests is that they are immutable. And so whenever we want to be modifying something with the request, what we'll be doing is we'll be saying const new request equals request.clone. And what that will do is that'll allow us to override some of the properties of this request. And then we will just be handing off that new request as the end result. And so what we're going to do in here is we are going to uh, override one of the options and the option I think we should override is going to be params. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the existing parameters on whatever request is coming in and append something to them. So we're going to say request.params.append. So relatively simple, so we need the key. So we'll just say token, and we'll just give it a dummy token here. So hi, mom. And now we can just uh, use that. It should override the params object within this request, and then hand it off as a new request. And now we've defined this interceptor, but we haven't actually told the application to use it at all. So in order to do that, we have to provide this. So we could provide it at the component level, but I want this to apply to any 
part of my application or any part of this module that's making HTTP request. So in my providers array within my app module, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new provider. And so this is gonna say, uh, let's provide, and we're gonna provide the HTTP interceptors token. And then you're gonna say use class and then pass in whatever the token you created or the interceptor you created was. So this is gonna be token interceptor. Should do the automatic import here, perfect. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say multi-true. What multi-true allows you to do is actually supply multiple implementations of this HTTP interceptor. Uh, so if you wanted to have a bunch of interceptors that are stacking up and adding, each one adds parameters, each one does logging, you can add lots of different features to your HTTP interceptor and they should all combine, they should all work together perfectly well. And so if we jump back to our application, we're gonna see uh, it's automatically refreshed in the background. And now whenever my application makes a request to the backend, so repositories Q equals Angular, it's also appending in my new token. So that very, very quickly, very, very simply was how you create an HTTP interceptor and use that to add a token to your requests. In today's video, we've watched how we can build an HTTP request in Angular and then level it up by creating a token interceptor that improves the way that our application fetches data from the internet and interacts with data backends. That's gonna be all for this video. Thanks and see you in the next one.